Watch you guys, got another video here for you on how to fix the unknown capacity when you plug in a USB flash drive into your computer. Uh, maybe it's also an SD card or micro SD uh, card and uh, this will work with that as well. So you can see here when I click uh, format, I'll try to format the uh, drive itself, click OK here and Windows was unable to complete the format and this is quite a common a problem. Now this is a brand new uh, USB flash drive that I'm using here, 128 gigabyte version. So what I'm going to do is close this off and uh, we're going to go back over to our uh, disk management here and take a look. You can see it won't allow you to format at all. You can see it's just got a box here uh, saying uh, please insert your drive. And it means that it doesn't think the drive is inserted. You can see here, when we look at File Explorer, you'll see that the drive has no volume. And you can see there is no bar at the bottom here. It's just got this drive here. When I click on it, it says, please insert your disk into a USB drive a D. And uh, basically, it is plugged in. It just won't work. And this is quite a common thing. So what we'll do here is we'll close this off and we'll see if we can rectify this problem. I'm going to go down to the start button here, right click and go to disk management again. And what we'll do is we'll take a look inside disk management and you'll see that the uh, space is unallocated here. And normally when you right click on here, uh, you can try to create a new simple volume on here and uh, let's go ahead and try to do that. So we'll click a new simple volume. Sometimes this might not populate and you can do it a few times and it won't come up. Or we'll just go through here and try to create a new simple volume. And you may run into this issue where you get no media, just like this here. So at this stage, because we're at the uh, disk management level, we can't really do too much. When you go back to File Explorer, and try to access it and format it, it won't let you. It says there is no disk uh, in drive F when there is. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to fix this in the command prompt and try to resolve this issue. So what we'll do, we'll just leave the drive plugged in. You can see it's come back up now. I've took it out and plugged it into another port so it repopulates. There we go. So we're back to square one. So what I'm going to do here is go into command prompt and uh, we're going to run disk part to try to resolve this problem here. So let's go down to the search and type in here CMD and run the command prompt as administrator. So once we're inside the command prompt, you should see administrator colon command prompt type in here disk part and this will open up the disk part tool. And what we're going to do here is type in here uh, list disk. And you must make sure that you're in disk part here at the prompt. So just type in here list disk or space disk. There we go. And this will list all the disks on the drive. You can see we do see disk 2 is our USB flash drive, 117 gigabytes. So what we need to do here now is uh, select that. So we can do select space disk space two and that's our drive that we've selected and what we're going to do here is we're going to create a primary uh, partition here so we're just going to do create partition primary just like so and push enter and uh, once we've got that done, we should be OK. So what we're going to do here now is exit out of this. and Exit out of the command prompt. And then we can go back to File Explorer here. And we should now see our drive here. When we click on this, it should allow us to format the drive. There we go. So I'm going to format here. And put this up. And now we can do what we want to do. We're going to leave this as XFAT. Put in what you want here. I'm just going to put in, say, for instance, 
USB drive or something like that. You can call it whatever you like. And then once we've done that, we can now click Start, click OK, and that should now format and get that ready for us. There we go. So now we've got a usable drive. So it's quite a, a really frustrating sort of thing that happens. And uh, if you don't know how to resolve that issue, it can be quite frustrating. So I'm going to right click on the start button going back into disk management here and you should now see your drive is fully functional here. There we go. And there we go. That's basically it. That's basically how you can resolve uh, that issue. It's very straightforward and easy to do. And uh, we should now have a drive working and uh, we can now store all our data. Now this was a brand new drive that come from Amazon. Not sure whether the drive is faulty, I will test it further. And uh, if it is faulty, then I'll send it back. But other than that, that's basically how you can get access to your drive and fix it if you've got that um, issue there. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Ben Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. That's how you fix the unknown capacity. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.